It has been one year here since Hurricane Ian slammed into southwest Florida. The storm blamed for more than 150 deaths here in the U.S., more than $112 billion in damages. Rebuilding, though, after Florida's costliest hurricane, it's been so slow. It's also been very frustrating for many who are still waiting for relief money, insurance payouts, and then actual working utilities. Well, CBS News Miami's Terry Hornstein is live in Fort Myers Beach this morning. Terry, good morning to you. So what's planned to commemorate this fateful day one year later? Something going on at 9 o'clock this morning, right? Yeah, good morning, Keith and Betty. There are a lot of events uh, all day long today, but let me tell you, so I lived here for two years and the bustling beach town, this major tourist hotspot that I once knew, so many people once knew, well, one year later, it looks so different, practically unrecognizable. And take a look behind me. You can see here a lot of buildings on Fort Myers Beach look exactly like this one you see here, just gutted. But there are also a lot of condo buildings that look like this as well, missing part of their roofs. The uh, surrounding perimeter still fenced off one year later. There are homes with spray painted addresses. But with that, there is a lot of construction, a lot of rebuilding and a lot of hope here. So today, the people of Southwest Florida will gather for a remembrance ceremony here. The first one will begin at 9 a.m. at Bayside Park. That's just feet from where we're standing this morning. Afterwards, everyone will head over to Times Square for the unveiling of a new clock tower. That's the area where the pier was destroyed last year during the hurricane. There will be different events and speakers all day long. Local leaders and officials from all over the state will be here to honor those who lost their lives. We're talking about more than 140 people. The loss is great and difficult as neighbors. Many who came here to retire work to rebuild what they once had. It's heartbreaking. You know, this was supposed to be my forever home. Yes, we've made do to get by, but as far as moving and improving, it's a little harder than what you might think. Now, the mayor says recovery here could take several years, but today they are one step closer to just healing from the storm. But again, it could take a very long time for them to rebuild here. Of course, we'll be here all morning long covering the events as people gather to remember and to join together. We're live this morning in Fort Myers Beach. Terry Hornstein, CBS News, Miami.